Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to be doing a detailed review on the Nutribullet Brew Choice Two Way Coffee Maker. It's got a 12 cup carafe, and you can also brew K cups with it. So the coffee maker looks pretty nice. It's got this glass carafe, it's kind of tall. It's got a hinged lid. It does have a warming plate, so be careful this can be hot. When you're doing K-Cups, it's got this little platform that goes on to put your uh, coffee mug on. It's got this selector here. You, pre you start and stop the uh, brews with the, with the center switch. This little lever here pops open. So if we move this little lever, this will pop up. Now be careful, I have found there is, that's not a super sharp needle, but it is kind of a sharp point. This lid wants to fall down. So be careful, hold it up. There's a brew basket. It comes with a reusable coffee filter, basket style. This is the, uh, when you want to do a craft, a coffee pot, you put this in. It's got the plunger on the bottom so we can remove the craft for a quick cup of coffee. Here's this K-cup adapter. So we remove all of that and then we put this in if we want to do a K-cup. And then the, the machine senses that we put that in and it switches the display to pod. And then when we got the pod in, we can do six, eight, or 10. That's our three choices. And when the, and when the carafe is in, we can do six cups, nine cups, or 12 cups. So three choices on either side. And it knows, it can sense what you've got in. It can sense whether you've got the brew basket in or the K-cup in. It does come with a really nice scoop for adding uh, coffee. I'll be showing you how to use that. It does come with a reusable K-cup with a lid. If you want to brew your own coffee grounds on the K-cup with a K-cup, that's how you can use it. Over here, it's got a water reservoir with a lid. I do like this. It's got kind of like a nice big handle. It kind of sticks a lot. A little bit come in. it doesn't come off real easy but there's those there's like a, a rail it's got a slide on it's got these nice markings on the side 12 cups is the max it does have cord storage and it's got a two-prong cord so overall i i do think it looks nice i mean it's it's got a plastic look to it i mean there's no way of getting around that but it does look nice the display is nice it's got a clock it's not programmable so the clock only shows you um, the time. It doesn't have an AM or a PM. So you can't program this to, to brew you a fresh pot of coffee in the morning. Now I've been using this. I have found it to be fairly simple to operate. Um, it is surprising. Normally when you get into these dual brews, things can get a little complicated and they can add a lot of different bold brews and all this other stuff. I've found this to be very simple. Um, it's just it is it's just very simple to operate. It kind of knows what you're doing It's very it's just got this one this round dial and this push button. That's it There's no all this other stuff that goes along with coffee makers. Sometimes it's a very simple coffee maker to operate So they did include these this really nice user guide I mean the pictures are really big the wording's really big It goes through all the setup how to brew coffee and it's very simple. It's just very simple uh, instructions I did a video on how to set it up before first use. I did an unboxing video. And then some coffee makers are starting to do this, this recipe guide. I, I like this. It's very thick and it's got a lot of different recipes in there. You know, the front of it looks nice. It's got the nice, I don't know if Nutribullet's built coffee makers before or not. So let's do a K cup. Let's do a K cup and then we'll do a pot of coffee. So let's take this out, the brew basket. Let's put the K-cup pot adapter in. Let's take this out. Now they have this little assembly here. This is like a drip tray. Um, they want you to put this in to kind of get to lift the glass up closer to the um, where the coffee comes out so it doesn't splatter as much. There, it kind of yeah, it fits in there. Once you got it right, it fits. But if you get it wrong, the glass could tip over. So be careful. It will fit a seven inch travel mug. So if you want to brew into a travel mug, you can just take this, be careful. This could be hot. If you did a pot of coffee, but beforehand that could be hot. So that is a warming plate to keep the coffee warm 
when you do the, the carafe side. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick any K-cup. Um, K-cups only hold two tablespoons of coffee. I've cut them open and the coffee is in a um, paper filter. So let's do the Starbucks Holiday Blend. We're just gonna lift this up. Again, be careful, this does wanna come down. I, that has come down on me a couple times now. Here's the top part where that needle is. It's like a squishy part there. So you're just gonna put the cake up in. It doesn't say to pierce the needle before you close the door. And it, it pierces both of them when you close the door. So now we're just gonna close this. And it's very simple. That didn't take a lot of force and it pierced the top and the bottom of that cake up. Now I can select what I wanna brew. I like my coffee cake cups on eight ounces. You only have three choices. And then you just simply hit the start button. It does beep at you when it starts and finishes. There's no way of turning those beeps off. They are a little loud. My dogs haven't been too annoyed with them yet. So the only way you know it's brewing is this eight ounce is flashing. And you can kind of hear the water going in. You can hear a pump running. It's kind of heating the water. It's not the quietest coffee maker, but it's not super loud either. There's where the coffee's coming out. Okay, so let's get a temperature. 190, that's really hot. 191. Yeah, that's, that's really hot. And it starts brewing right away. I mean, within about 10, 15 seconds, it makes some noise and then there's water coming out. Okay, so it should be finishing up here a second. I have noticed, so the water stops coming out, but then the pump runs for a little bit, which seems a little unusual. Like I can hear that pump still running now, the light's still flashing. This seems a little long. But eventually it will stop and it will beep at us like four, three or four times. Again, there's no way of turning those beeps off. See how it just can, there. Then it kind of goes quiet. It's still flashing. Again, I would expect for it to beep. There it beeps. Okay, so there's our cup of coffee. Looks like a really dark cup of coffee. Let's see the temperature. That's about standard, 165. Now it cooled off for a little bit, so it might have been a little hotter. We let it sit there for just a little bit. I've been tasting the coffee out of here. This, it tastes like a really good cup of coffee. Okay, let's open it up, see how it did. Just move this little handle like that. There's the top needle. There's the K-cup. Again, be careful, it can be hot. And you could take the whole thing out. But just, see, it pierced the bottom with that needle and then the top pierce the top. So if you wanted to do a reusable cake up, it comes with this. You're just gonna fill that up. There's a max line like right there. It basically holds about just a little under two tablespoons of coffee. It's got a seal, put it, make sure the coffee is not between the, the seal and the lid, just close that down. And then you're gonna put this in there it's very simple. You're just going to put it in there. It's not going to pierce the bottom because it's not that tall. So you put it in there and it sits nice and flush. You close the lid and then you can just do another brew eight ounce. You can do six ounces or 10 ounces and hit the start. That's how you use the reusable cake cup that it comes with. That's a very nice feature. So now let's brew a pot of coffee. Let's take the cake cup adapter out. Again, this senses when I've got this installed, it knows that the crap, like it knows, it can tell if there's a pod or a, if you're gonna do a pod or a craft. So now let's put this brew basket in. Again, it's got this little indentation. Make sure you line it up. Now that's just a brew basket. You still need a filter. It comes with this reusable filter, which goes like there. I'm gonna use the paper filter. So I'm gonna do a basket, eight to 12 cup basket style coffee filter. Now you can't use both of these at the same time. It's either use this or a paper filter. I'm gonna put the paper filter in here like this. Make sure it's kind of hugging the walls. 
We're going to put our coffee grounds right in there. It uses just regular standard coffee ground in a medium grind for like a, a normal drip coffee maker. So the scoop, if you lose this scoop, it says it's um, 1.2 tablespoons, but you can use one tablespoon per cup you're going to brew. And I've got three options. That's why there's three options right here. There's a six, a nine, and a 12. For Because that's what I'm going to choose on the display. That's what I'm going to choose when I'm up here. I'm going to either choose six, nine, or 12. That's all the choices I have for brewing coffee. So let's do the full 12. I'm going to put six of these scoops in. If I lose this, just put one, just put 12 tablespoons in. So let's get the coffee. And it said, I, can't, I keep checking six. So I'm gonna put six of these, six of these big scoops in. Okay, so I got my coffee right there in the middle. I'm gonna close this. I gotta come back here. I gotta make sure I got enough water. So I gotta fill this up to the, I gotta make sure it's filled all the way to the max, to the 12. Okay, so let's, if we got the drip tray installed, remove the drip tray. There's your carafe. Make sure, make sure the lid is installed. Now you're simply gonna come up here and rotate the knob. There's six, nine, and 12, and just hit the start button. It's that simple. It does beep at you when it starts. So I see some, there's some steam coming out. I hear a pump kicking on. There is some water starting to come out, or some coffee, and the 12 is flashing. Okay, so the water coming out of the bottom of the craft is 184. I'm sorry, out of the bottom of the filter basket. So I do see about 180, it's going up a little bit, 188. Okay, so it's been about four minutes and we're at the six cut mark, so it's pretty speedy. So a nice feature is you can cancel the brew at any time. If you just hit that button, it will stop the brew. Now at the end of the cycle, it will keep the heating plate on for two hours. If you forget to turn it off, after two hours, it shuts the heating plate off automatically after two hours. And again, don't lift the lid or anything, just let it, it, it doesn't sound really bad. It sounds like, just like a, like a pump running. And there's not a bunch of steam. There was some steam at first. It's been just a really nice, consistent sound. Six minute mark and we're at the eight cups. And again, with the clock, there is no AM and PM. It's just time. I'll show you how to set that at the end. So that's how you know this isn't programmable. And there is no real power button. So when it's done brewing coffee, if it's just sitting there in the morning, your display will go, will go dark except for the clock. You just got to rotate the knob or lift that up. That kind of wakes it up. It goes into a sleep mode, they call. There is no main power switch anywhere. So towards the end, I'm getting about 191 coming out the bottom. This doesn't sound like a normal coffee maker where you get that kind of like that steam and that gushing sound. This is more of a pump consistent sound. It's actually relatively quiet. Okay, nine minutes. Now this time it stops. Once it gets to 12, it didn't have that pause like with the K-cup. Nine minutes, 12 cups. That's really nice. Okay, so let's see how it did up here. Nice, it didn't overflow the filter that's nice. The coffee grounds didn't come up above the filter. They all stayed in the, in the filter. Yeah, that thing closes on a lot. That's probably the one thing I, I really like this coffee maker. That's one thing that I would like to see a little something there just to hold that. Okay, so let's see how the craft pours. Feels nice in the hand. Yep, pours pretty good. I really like this coffee maker. I'll put it back. Let's check the temperature of the coffee. That's a really hot cup of coffee. Holy moly. That's a really hot cup of coffee. 177. I've not seen that hot a cup of coffee out of a coffee maker in a long time. Now it's cooling off really quick. Now I tried this earlier. It makes a very good cup of coffee. So not knowing Nutribullet made coffee makers, I didn't know what to expect with this. I'm very impressed with it. S simplicity. Uh, it makes a hot cup of coffee, tastes really good. It does K-cups, but the, I always come back to simplicity. You know, you gotta store some of these parts, which is okay, um, but I come back to simplicity. It's, it's simple. Um, 
you know, the looks of it, it, it I do like, you know, the Nutribullet. I like the symbol. The craft looks really nice. It's a quiet coffee maker. It's a fast coffee maker. Cleanup is relatively easy. I'm going to open this up. There's a little handle here. I can take this to the um, trash can. It's not going to drip on me because there's that plunger. So other than this lid kind of popping down, um, I really like it. It does have a plastic look to it. Uh, maybe if it comes in some other colors, it might look, if it was maybe all black or something, it might look a little better. But um, it, it is space saving. They do go over, it doesn't fit under kitchen cabinets, but it is space saving. And I think it would look nice sitting there by itself. But I just come back to simplicity, hot, fast. I mean, I don't know longevity, how long it's gonna last. And the nice thing, they did say all the parts are dishwasher safe. So this, the brew basket, you know, this, this drip tray, this brew basket up here, this is dishwasher safe, the craft. Now the craft is pretty tall, so that might be kind of hard to put in the dishwasher. But at least everything's dishwasher safe. It, it feels robust. Let's see how much it brewed. It took the water all the way down. I don't see a way of putting a water filter in there. So you might have, you know, you can just use regular water. Just don't use distilled water. Use filtered water, regular tap water, or bottled water is fine. So yeah, I, I really like this. It's just simple. I said I was gonna show you how to set the time. So setting the time is very simple. You just hold the start stop button in. Hold it in for about five seconds. The hours are gonna start flashing. Hours are flashing, use this little selector. Set the time. Again, no AM or PM. So hit the button and then set the minutes. And then hit it again. It memorizes it. So thanks everybody for watching.